I read an interesting quote from Ivry Gitlis that said that Paganini was not an innovator, he was a phenomenon. What Paganini did is take the entire concept of violin playing and bring it several plateaus up to where it didn't think it could exist. The caprices in Paganini's entire collection of pieces are exceptional. Uh, all his pieces had incredible technique in them and uh, also a very keen sense of uh, the Italian opera. He could really create pieces that would sing and do acrobacy in perfect balance. From description of uh, Paganini's appearances and his abilities, uh, there's a strong suspicion that he had Marfan syndrome, which gives you an incredible flexibility in your joints. Apparently, he could take his finger and bend it sideways, this way and this way. So in addition to them being extra long, and already having a big stretch, the ability that he had to stretch and open them enabled him to play things which uh, nobody could ever think about. I think Caprice number six shows it because you have to stretch and trill very, very large intervals continuously. You can't just do one little stretch. And the sound this creates this polyphony, these many voices coming together, all creating a certain tremble. It's just that caprice is a caprice that I can listen to and listen to. He knew that he was going to go out and be what we would today look at the rock star, the idol. He first started touring around Italy uh, with incredible success. And about 10 years afterwards, started touring in Europe. And he was so famous that there was, there was even merchandise after him in Vienna. They had his portraits that you could buy in all sizes. They had Paganini chocolates, which were little bonbons that were shaped in his head, the same way they did for Rossini. And because the price for his concerts was five gulden, a note for five gulden became known as the Paganini, meaning that's the note that gets you a Paganini ticket. I'll probably continue doing this as long as I can and want. I've always been someone who loves the balance between performing and teaching and being at home base. I think I will go on as long as I can because it fills my life.